exactly here has seen you through, so therefore has won you a, a small prize along the way. One of these will be a good prize to a chicken. <laughs> Again, a phrase I didn't find, I think I've found myself saying. And there is a prize for you in one of these. So, red or blue, what do you want? Blue. Blue? She's gone for blue. Thank you very, thank you very much. What's she the, could choose. She's got a champion chicken what's here. What's the prize? A holiday in Turkey? No. Oh. <laughs> she's won the chicken prize. It's a super coop. State of the art oh. super coop. <laughs> for the here in the first place. Well. Well. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> excited up there. By the way, all the winners uh, do go through to our win winner's enclosure behind us. How are you doing, folks? Of course, the chicken and the uh, ferret owner right there. Uh, what can you tell us about the update here, Tony? Well, it's good news, really, because uh, Sophie down there, Sophie, mm -hmm. who's just gone round the other way, but uh, has done three and a half laps. <laughs> compared, compared, to, compared, compared to half a lap for Tony. Uh -huh. And, uh, well, the other one's really still stayed at the line, yeah. It's in the, the, the reverse maneuver. <laughs> OK, now, for, we'll come back for the final of Tortoise Update, why, as soon as we have it. In the meantime, you're going to love this next game. It's what the show's been building to. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you, sir? I'm Mark. And you really do keep stick insects? I do, yes. Yes, it must hey, be said. They do say animals look like their owners, Mark. <laughs> I don't want to worry. <laughs> <laughs> you in the middle there. Who are you? Nicola. Okay, you're Nicola. Who are you? Liz. Liz? What do they give? What, how do they enrich your life? <laughs> they don't really. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the, uh, you know, the slightly uh, humble aspirations of your stick insect owner here, they will say one thing, that they love their animals. Yes? No. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they love their animals and they could pick them out of thousands. And on that very shaky premise is the game That's My Stick Insect Based. <laughs> We have nine tanks. Would you stop arguing it? Would you like stick insects? It's too late. We don't. Well, you should have gone for the tortoise marathon then. <laughs> OK. There's nine cages in front. No, they're tanks, aren't they? <laughs> cages have wire, tanks are glass. Isn't that right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Why my tiger died. OK. <laughs> <laughs> There are nine tanks in front of us here, and some of them have their stick insects in, but which tanks are they? We're going to give them 30 seconds to prowl around these. You've only got 30 seconds to be brisk, but immediately you see your stick insect stand behind the tank. At the end of 30 seconds, I want you to say, that's my stick insect. Let's see who's right. Let's see who's wrong. Sound like fun? Get the neighbours in. It's Pets Win Prizes. Terry, tell us when the time begins. Go. Go. <laughs> 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 you, you, you've looked along here? Or are you satisfied, eh? Really? And you too? Well, I've run out of Well, no, 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 no. We'll tell you when you're out of time. <laughs> did, you just drag, did you just drag in off the streets or something? <laughs> <laughs> That'll do us. All right. Oh, wow, you've all decided those end tables. I They're totally one. random. Except... One was planted here, and we're not surprised nobody stood by cage number five because there's no stick in <laughs> <laughs> hey, Oh, the I'm fun we have at our meetings. <laughs> there's no stick insect in there, see? <laughs> All right, you've gone for numbers one, two and three, respectively. Now, the one piece of information I left out purposely earlier on, what is your stick insect called? Twiggy. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. In there is Twiggy. That's my stick insect. So, let me peel away this. If it says Twiggy, this man really knows his stuff. Can you all see? Yeah! yeah. How? How? Instinct. Instinct? Yep. <laughs> what do you mean, instinct? He was... Was, 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 was Twiggy going, over here, Mark? Yeah, he was. <laughs> really? Yep. Deep calling to deep? Yes. It's voices in your head, eh? <laughs> That's what Charles Manson said. Here we go. What's this? Uh, uh, it should be the name of yours is. Oh, it's Twiggy. Again? <laughs> Imagination doesn't run right in the world of collecting stick insects, does it? Huh? Okay, so this should say. Well, Twiggy, hopefully. Nicholas Twiggy. <laughs> you've, you've, you've got a very bad feeling about this, haven't you? <laughs> yours is called. Theodora. Theodora. OK, Theodora, nice. I know where you're branching out. <laughs> <laughs> it's Theodora! <laughs> yeah, really We're going to give you 
ten seconds to look in there and tell us how many <laughs> stick ins are there. Go. Can you put it down a bit? <laughs> put it down a bit. That's it. That's it. Before you look too closely. How many stick insects are in that jar? You say nine. How many did you say? Eight. You say eight? Six. You say six. The actual number of stick insects in that jar are... Eight. Yeah. You said... You said nine. Yeah. You said eight. 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 <laughs> Here's your prize. Two envelopes here. One will be a prize for the stick insect. And one will be a yeah it is, and one will be a prize for yourself. <laughs> so even if you're not doing it for the stick insect, do it for yourself. Which one of these envelopes do you choose? You're going through the final anyway. Who yes. says blue? Who says blue? My husband. Your husband. Ah, the power behind the throne. <laughs> okay. It's, <a> nice <laughs> hey, it's for your stick insect, you won. <laughs> and it's won its own bramble bush, which we will maintain. <laughs> right. Now. Evenly paced, but this race is well and truly won. If you could have joined us just a few seconds earlier, as they came over this hump, it was like bullet. Strong, they were leaping over. It was Steve McQueen all over again. You have the official timings there, I believe, Mr. Nutkins. I have, yeah. Uh, Sophie is the outright winner by just over four laps. This took us here completely. Give me your best and Tony's you, done three quarters of a lap. Three quarters of a lap for little Tony so at the good. end, but the clear winner, as you say, by over four laps there, is Sophie, it's right Sophie. out in front. So, so. Yeah. Two envelopes. One is a tortoise prize, the other is a prize for yourself. Which one do you want? You're going through to the final anyway. Blue! The red! <laughs> blue, red! Yeah. All didn't shout blue and you override them, I like that. Fridge freezer time! Yeah. I don't Postmodern age, my friends, while the contestants going, woo! -hoo -hoo! She went, I really want the washing machine. <laughs> Sophie takes Kathy through to the final. We have one more self-contained game before we get there, and it's played over here. So to our last game before the final, I dare say everybody out there is familiar with this painting behind me. It comes from a series of paintings, and you can't look at a painting like that in our office without a certain train of thought being set in progress. And so now we come to a game that we like to call My Dog Plays Snooker? Really? <laughs> <laughs> We've got three contestants waiting right here, and I must say there was a certain amount of rehearsal for this show, and this is a pip and a corker. If you thought Beat the Cluck was good... <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's going to happen? We're going to put them one at a time on this table in front of us, this huge snooker table. You as actors, referee over there, Terry. They will be given the different colour balls as represented in snooker. They will chase those balls around the table and try to pot them. As they do, they will rack up their scores quite simply. The dog, who in one minute pots higher score than his competitors, wins and sends his owner through to the final. Let's meet the owners over here. You are? Gemma. And this is? Diffie. Diffie. Why Diffie? Her real name's Diffie. Ah, ah, well, uh, go on, go on, I'm, I'm, I'm willing. Difa? Dog. Difa dog! <laughs> I think they're taken against you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope it's more straightforward in the middle. Who are you? Hi, I'm Miranda. Miranda? And this is Bruce. And this is Bruce. Oh, I've got a kiss. Nice. Bruce. <laughs> it's always the story of my life. The dogs, they kiss me. <laughs> OK, and at the end? I'm Katie. Katie? And this is Holly. Holly. Now, you understand the intricate rules of the contest before us, right? It's pets win prizes. It's my dog plays snooker, really. When we advertised for people whose dogs like to do this sort of thing, you three were lucky, so they better perform. It's going to be Diffy or D for dog. Clever, clever. <laughs> who's going to go first? <laughs> Terry, if you would like to apply the ball to the appropriate spot as soon as they take it up the field to try and pot it, then put the next colour up. I think you know the sequence. Uh, no less an authority than Brian from our Faraw crew will take care of that side of the table, take the balls away as soon as they're potted. I'll look after this side. Diffy, if you'd like to come to the table, you have one minute to get through as many of these balls and pot them and their value. It's dogs playing snooker on the BBC, everyone. <laughs> Pets win prizes. Your minute starts right now. <laughs> No, go on, Diffie, go on, Diffie. No, Diffie, not even one yet. Where's your ball? And go! Oh, Diffie, you've got about another nine to get through. Oh, Diffie, go on, Diffie. Come on, mate, come on, come on mate. Go on, go on, mate. 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 Go on, Go on, mate. Yes! Diffie's thinking, it's 
another grey one. <laughs> what do you think? This? Oh, this now. Getting it. This now. Getting it. Mr. N. Three. Just three. So there is something to beat, but not much. Remind me again, this is... Bruce. Bruce. Just before we start, let me tell you something about Bruce. Uh, to get the dogs familiar with the table earlier on, we gave them a, a little game of this. Bruce was brilliant. He got up to the black the first time. The second time, he just jumped off the table and wasn't interested. <laughs> There's only one rule in my dog can play snooker, really. You mustn't leave the table or you're disqualified. Tension? We're on the edge of our seats. As we introduce <laughs> the main man... Or the twisted devil that he can be. Uh, it's Bruce. Bruce. As soon as he makes contact with the wall, ball, his minute Bruce. begins. Bruce, do your stuff. Down there, Bruce. Oh, he's, gonna... no, he's, not... oh, he's, not... he's gone straight in. Bruce. If he leaves the table. Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> Tortoise crazy. No, he can't have that. It suddenly found its way in. I think Bruce is going to leave the table. Bruce, there's the ball. You come back and endure the show like the rest of us. <laughs> oh, no, no. If you really didn't. <laughs> I think we're going to have to lose Bruce at that point. I do apologise, but Bruce it's has good. left the table. Our third competitor, remind me again, is... Holly. Holly, OK. Holly's been watching all this with a, a very professional eye. <laughs> Ho Holly's got the look of the queue already, hasn't she? I mean, you're going to see... Holly? Holly? Holly, there's the ball, mate. It's all yours. I know they're all grey to you, but they're <laughs> all points. Off you go. A minute. One minute. Go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, Holly. It's in! Gonna... <laughs> Honest, you wouldn't. In... When we were playing around before we came in the air, 17 played 18 at one point. Go on, Holly. Go on, Holly. It's a trip to New York in it for your owner. Go on, Holly. He takes that ball into the hole. No? Holly, go get your ball. Go on, Holly. Go get your ball. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. On, I thought we'd the club climax the show, didn't you? Where's your I ball? thought it climaxed with the chickens. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> One envelope is a prize for Diffie, which I think he, she, she, she deserves. The other is a prize for you. You're going to, to, to the final anyway. What do you suspect? What one do you want? Red or blue? Blue, please. Blue? You've gone with <laughs> blue. You said blue all night. OK. A portable CD player. I just said that's so great. Right. You share it, won't you? She'll share it. Hey, you're watching a grand return to the great age of animal show business. <laughs> <laughs> we reach the climax of the show, which we call the final furlong, quite simply. All the people who were represented by the winning animals in the previous rounds have come here to play a general knowledge round. Over three minutes, all the questions will pertain to animals. How they arrive at that winning post can be displayed on the big ball behind me here. And there it is, a drawing done by my ten-year-old daughter, Bonnie. Thank you very much indeed. It is divided into six furlongs. Each of these questions represent a furlong, quite simply, I suppose, again. The one who answers six of these questions will be over the finish line. If you get the first one to get six questions over the finish line, if after three minutes nobody has done it, then we'll see who's in front at that point, possibly even a tiebreaker. We must press on. Let's remind ourselves what animals brought you here. Cathy, you were brought here by a tortoise. Sean, you were brought here by the efforts of your ferret. Amanda came here because of the chicken round. Beat the cluck. Nicola was the stick insect. And at the end, Gemma, of course, we just saw coming through with Diffie the dog. You're on your own now. Your animals are out the way. It's general knowledge about animals. You have three minutes. Push your buzzers. Wait for me to say your name. Give us your answer. Question one. Yes or no? Do turtles have teeth? Cathy? No. No, they do not. Point for Cathy. Question two. What kind of pet is Garfield? 
It's Catty again. It's a cat. Garfield is a cat. <laughs> Question three, true or false? There are more pigs in Denmark than people. <laughs> Gemma. True. It is true on a two-to-one ratio. Question four, budgies droppings, wet or dry? <laughs> Gemma. Dry. They are very dry, it says here. Could next question. Only two animals have their stars along Hollywood Boulevard. Can you name one? <coughs> Nicola. Lassie. Lassie it is. Rin Tin Tin's the other. In Peter Pan, the family's dog is called... <coughs> Darling. It's not... No, it's not <laughs> Nana. That's Nana. That's the family name. Next question. All zodiac signs are animal except one. Which <coughs> one? Nicola. Cancer. No, it's a crab. What? I was going to say Virgo. Sean! Sure. Pisces. No, it's not. It's Libra of the Scales. I'm sorry, Amanda. We'd have been here all night. The Doberman <laughs> Pincher. Fine guard dog. Spell Pincher. Gemma. P-I-N-S-C-H-E-R. Absolutely right. Yeah, I think you're just in front now. Uh, Dennis the Menace's dog is called... I'm going to have to... Amanda. Nasher it is. Amanda, you're off the mark, but it's still in front is Cathy. You only need three more questions. What kind of animal was Tarzan's friend Cheetah? <coughs> Cathy. He was a chimp. He was a chimpanzee. Do poodles molt? <coughs> Cathy. Yes. No, they don't. Anyone else? No, you know the answer. Uh, well, <laughs> the elephant that caused this commotion on Blue Peter was called Lulu, Dana or Twiggy? <coughs> Lulu. It was called Lulu. Absolutely right. That was Nicola. In the world of horse measuring, how high in centimetres is a hand? Gemma. Four inches. It is not. Well, how high in centimetres is a hand? Nicola. Um. <laughs> it's ten it's centimetres. Ten. According to Pet Chula Clark, oh, God, where shouldn't you sleep? <laughs> Sean. In the subway. In the subway. You're off the mark, Sean. Off you go. When a dog is swimming, what does it use as a rudder? <laughs> Easy one. Cathy. It's his tail. It's its tail. It is. You're getting close to the end. What was the name of the Lone Ranger's horse? <laughs> Nicola. Silver. Silver it is, Nicola. From which animal do we get cat gut? <laughs> Cathy. Cows. It's a sheep or a horse I'm looking for. Which tufty-haired cartoon character has a dog called Snowy? Oh, yes. oh. Nicola. Tintin. Tintin, it is, Nicola. Where does that leave you? OK, true or false? A termite can approach... Uh, can hear an approaching human up to a mile away. Sean. False. It is, it is absolutely false. Termites are deaf. That is the end of it. At the end of that round, there's a dead heat between our stick insect and the tortoise, as represented by Nicola and Cathy. Well, <laughs> do between Cathy and Nicola go on to this last question it represents a furlong and we'll move your creature on the extra furlong to win you the game to come through to an absolute grand prize finale here what we call your last reward Cathy Nicola listen up and press your buzzers which pet is most seen by vets in the UK <coughs> Cathy dogs it is dogs you're a winner <laughs> Show pet swim prizes, and oh boy, ain't that true, especially when we come to our final section here, which we like to call the last reward. Look in front of you, you'll see this is broken up into six sections, this little area here. Each of those represents your prizes. You could be going on a holiday for two to New York. Oh, yes, you could. You could be going on a holiday for two for Rome. You could be going off to a health farm. There's a prize, £500. <laughs> the creative people couldn't come up with anything, £500. That'll be OK. <laughs> the pet portrait. That means a portrait, of course, of your pet done in loving oils, yeah? Or it's your book token. Now, come on, it's the gift that keeps on giving. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> However, it's not just simply you to say what you'll choose, cos you'd go for the pet portrait. We want to introduce a new character at this point. It is the Professor. Would you please welcome the Professor? <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Very briefly, what the Professor's going to do, we're going to put the Professor here. She's going to walk around the pit. And whatever prize she stands on will light up. After 30 seconds, whatever prize the professor is standing on, that's what you've won. The prize will be distributed by a cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the paws of that cat there we call the professor. Wherever she wanders, that's your prize. After 30 seconds, whatever's a light, mm -hmm. that's where you're going or that's what you'll get. 30 seconds will begin as soon as Terry places the professor okay. into the quadrant. New York. Off it goes. Oh, you want New York, you think, dear? Yeah? Uh, Please, New York. Uh, no, no, no. 500 pounds? Not so bad. 500 pounds. There are little treats in there quickly, placed around. But... Quickly, 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 quickly. Health farm, you're going no, to no, a health no, farm. No, no, no. New York, yes. please, New York. Please. It's a New York trip. She's moved on to Rome. She's got back with a book to <laughs> What do you say, Professor? Yes, 
like you were a cat's tail, like literally a cat's whisker from going to the Big Apple. But it's a book token, the gift that keeps on giving. And, um, well, why don't you buy yourself the Tortoise's Guide to the Streets of Manhattan? That'll make you feel a hell of a lot better, I'm sure. Thanks to Terry Nutkins right here, Bradley, our resident vet, standing behind me. And then, folks, if anyone says, what did you watch last night, say, I watch some television. It's called Pets Win Prizes. I'll see you next week. Gang, please don't try any of these games at home with your pets. The pets on tonight's show have been doing what comes naturally in a controlled environment and under proper veterinary supervision. And Danny's back next week at the earlier time of 6.15. Next on BBC One, Joan Hickson as Miss Marple. I'm trying to run an honest bakery. Can I have a word? Go on, a bit of business. Ah, well, now, look, Sid, I don't do that anymore. I've gone straight. With some very temperamental staff. I refuse to make a black forest government. Why? For political reasons. But some nights it's all tea. Wait, Bill, fill the pot up, will you? And sympathy. It's an important relationship an exotic dancer has with her python. All night long, join us Monday at 8.30 on BBC One. I knew it. Victor's after something fishy. I hope you're going to have the decency to take the dead ones out first this time. <laughs> yes, I am. There's a tea strainer. But really, they're both as bad as each other. He certainly can't be left alone for one minute. Four, two, nine, one. <laughs> Join us as Victor has more than just one foot in the grave tonight at five past nine on BBC One. <laughs> Afternoon. <laughs> A portrait of life in France during the Nazi occupation on BBC Two shortly. Here on BBC One, the death of a millionaire takes Agatha Christie's Miss Marple on a tour of stately homes.